<laughs> All right. Welcome back to the word. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna keep doing that. We can review, is that? Yeah, that's what that is. The <laughs> word. The word. Uh, on today's agenda, can I just say something? Oh. Is it recording? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We're good to go, professional. <laughs> on today's on today's agenda. Uh, the monkey selfie fiasco has been settled. Ben is super excited to talk about this one. Smug Mug buys Flickr. Uh, and we expand our lighting offerings with the addition of some sweet new pro photo kit. Uh, and Andy's going to fill us in on Clifton events and promos for the week. So we've got a short episode this week. Um, one topic of interest <laughs> eclipses the rest, not only for its entertainment value, but of its importance to the photographic community. Uh, clearly, the monkey selfie is the biggest scoop to hit photography since Edwin Land invented the Polaroid. <laughs> <laughs> Obscure photography reference Engulfs for you. Engulfs us all. Uh, ben, this is bananas. Uh, <laughs> Given us a clue as to what's happening here. Oh, wow. <laughs> you, literally, you literally wrote that down. I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what's, what's the word on the monkey selfie? Well... Are you guys actually aware of how the whole thing came about? Pretend, like, pretend that I'm we not. know nothing. Yes. I'm a little interested. I'm going to show you a photo of this as well because there's such an issue with copyright on this photo that I'm kind of <laughs> wary of dropping it in there, but I'll, I'll, I'll find something. <laughs> um, back in 2011, photographer David Slater went to uh, Zulawesi, Indonesia, and he took a photo of a, uh, a crested black macaque. Oh. Mm. Yes. Mm. Monkey dog creature. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and uh, basically, there's the there's the selfie that everybody everybody's seen this story. Yeah, I think you've seen it, haven't you? You must have done. Yeah. Uh, he he only made a couple of thousand pounds on it. He really didn't make much money on it at all. It basically covered the trip. Yeah. That he went on, but uh, Wikipedia and uh, Tech Dirt. I've never heard of Tech Dirt. Before. I haven't heard of Tech Dirt either. Really 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 no. They kept using the photo without permission, and he asked them, "Could you stop?" using this mm. and wikipedia basically said no we're not going to do that because technically you don't own the copyright the monkey does what? so i believe it was actually wikipedia that kind oh, of really? uh, okay. brought this into motion right um that was in 2014 in 2015 peter or peter yeah you, peter. you, you peter. said <laughs> you say peter i say peter <laughs> <laughs> yeah the uh, the people for ethical treatment of animals they actually sued slater uh, on behalf of the monkey, uh, who was called Naruto. Naruto! Yes, that's the name of the monkey. All right. Okay. Um, the It's been in and out of court ever since. The court pretty much said, well, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, a, a, an animal, an animal can't have copyright, but Peter kept, kept yeah, it yeah. going as well. Um, David Slate's actually been... He's he's had a lot of financial issues. He's in ever like, since this has been going on. Isn't he? He's in like financial ruin after this whole debacle, isn't he? Basically, pretty much yeah. all the hearings he hasn't been able to attend because he can't actually afford to go <laughs> to over go. there and actually do it. So he's been doing everything via video. Uh, yeah. Video link. Video thing. How? What do the kids say? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but he maintained that he actually coached the monkey into using the camera. Just for those of you who don't know as well, by the way, apparently by copyright law, whoever actually put their finger on the shutter button and actually took the... Yes. ...is the copyright owner of the photo. But... Okay. Yes. It is a monkey. <laughs> yes. But um, he, uh, he says that uh, it wasn't serendipitous monkey behaviour. <laughs> It required a lot of knowledge on my behalf, a lot of perseverance, sweat and anguish. So he maintains that he did actually set this up. He coaxed the monkeys into actually using the camera. I to... love the phrase serendipitous <laughs> monkey, monkey <laughs> behavior. That's yes. my new favorite turn of phrase. That's the tagline for this video. <laughs> that's, the, that's the thumbnail. Serendipitous <laughs> monkey behavior. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's been thrown out of court a number of times. US, uh, oh, what did I write here? Yes, a US, a, US appeals court, a U.S. appeals court ruled that U.S. copyright law doesn't allow animals to file copyright infringements lawsuits. Which makes sense. Yeah. And finally, I, I can't remember exactly when it was. I should have probably written that down, really, seeing as I was doing any research, <laughs> research for this. But this week, basically, uh, David Slater has actually finally won. Yeah, he has. 
uh, with, uh, and not only has he won, but the court slammed uh, Petter for its actions and accused the organization of using Naruto, the monkey in question, as a pawn while pretending to be a friend. So, Peter. slammed, it said there. Slammed. Yeah, Peter slammed. I keep going yeah. between Peter and Petter. All right. So, <laughs> myself. Let's take a vote. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who thinks who thinks monkeys should be allowed to hold copyright? I don't. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm yeah. Joking. So yeah. that it seems crazy. I think it sucks that this poor guy has had to fight tooth mm. and nail Absolutely. for the copyright of this like this photograph that the that the monkey took. Like I'm not taking anything away from like chimps or monkeys or <laughs> apes or anything no. like that. We all know they're intelligent creatures, but let's be realistic here. Monkeys don't have bank accounts. <laughs> you know what I mean? They don't have mortgages or, you know, taxes to pay. So he did actually state as well actually that there's one good thing that's come out of this. It has actually brought attention to this particular breed. And it's actually it's helped good. conservation and the yeah. black crested the, macaque. The the Crested black macaque. Crested yes. black macaque. That's nice. right, yes. Crested black macaque. Nice. In Zalawesi, Indonesia. And hopefully he'll get compensated as well. Yeah. Definitely. Well, he, he has stated as well. Well. one thing he was talking about is well, this is the sort of photo that everyone dreams about having that iconic photo that yeah. everybody uses. And maybe you can, you know, yeah, set, you settle should. you for life, yeah, you know what I mean? You've got, yeah. And yeah, he's, he's had nothing but hassle since. What's going to happen now? I don't know. I don't know whether that means he. Well, the photo, gets a positive about come out yeah. from now on. Mm. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Monkey selfie. Monkey selfie. Monkey selfie, yeah. <laughs> cool. So yeah. <laughs> but what were the what were the takeaways from that? If you press the shutter, you own the copyright. That's what I believe. And animals can't own the copyrights to photos they have taken. somehow managed to take of themselves. Knowledge. Knowledge. <laughs> it's serendipitous power. monkey behavior. I'll, <laughs> I'll do, uh, I'll do a reenactment <laughs> for the uh, copyright issue. So. <laughs> Um, right, second piece of news for this week, uh, Smug Mug, I don't, I didn't know about Smug Mug, but then I, I'm not actually a career photographer, um, I'm just gonna say something strange, <laughs> so I'm not a career photographer, but Smug Mug is a place, Smug Mug, Smug Mug, Smug Mug, Smug Mug, um, <laughs> Smug Mug, <laughs> uh, it's a place where photographers can go and sell their images, uh, online, uh, you know, so if you have a, a small photography business, you can sell them for, you know, four bucks, 30 bucks, okay. whatever yeah, yeah, it yeah. is, you know what I mean? It's not yeah. like huge thing. Um, Smoke Mug bought Flickr from Yahoo for an undisclosed amount of money. Uh, mm -hmm. Yahoo is now owned by Verizon, which is massive telecommunications yeah. Yeah. conglomerate. Yeah. Um, and this acquisition will give Smug Mug a massive user base, which currently stands at 75 million registered photographers. So that's quite the acquisition. Oh, yeah. um, I think the takeaways from this, I think it was just important to say this, just in case any Flickr users out there didn't mm. know, but this has happened. You probably do know. Um, I think some Flickr users were feeling a bit neglected, so hopefully Smug Mug will come on and, and make some changes to the right. existing yeah. Flickr system that yeah. uh, people are a bit disgruntled with. Uh, I think the most important thing is for Flickr users that are there already, there are no major changes um, right. to Flickr at the moment. The only thing you need to bear aware of is Flickr accounts will be moved to Smug Mug's terms of service and privacy policy. So if you want to opt out, you have until May 25th, 2018 to do so. And I really think that's about the size of it. Because okay. you know, Smug Mug you have to pay for, is that right? Isn't there tiers that you have to pay for for individual? I imagine if you're selling, yeah. yeah. So I guess that's where things are different. Smug Mug is for retailing your photographs. Flickr is just an image hosting website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Um, so, so that's about it. Now they will be as one, um, and hopefully that'll be a good thing for, for Flickr users and, and Smug Mug yeah, at the same absolutely. time. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah, I think moving on from there, Profoto. So something we wanted to let everybody know is we've just taken on Profoto. So we've expanded our lighting offerings. Um, Profoto is awesome. Uh, mm. We just, you know, we listed the products last week. I think Andy listed yeah, most I of listed them. It. Yeah. I wrote a little blog. So if you're interested in a quick guide to Profoto's premiere or headline offerings, you can find that on the website. 
Um, I think the three things, the major things that we'll be offering now is the A1, which is the on and off camera flash, flash. unit. Right. Nice piece of kit. Uh, it's got a round head like that, quite unique looking as far as uh, flashes mm -hmm. go. And that Different. round head gives you a small, uh, it's not small, but smooth drop off of light. Uh, and then you've got the B1, which is a mono light, similar to like what Braun Color offers. Similar right. price range as well, so high quality gear here. Uh, and then the B2, which is a smaller, well, it's not a mono light, but it's a, it's a tethered sort of light with a very small battery pack that goes with it. Cool. You can use that on and off camera. So some really cool new gear for you guys to, uh, to check out. Uh, and we're really happy to be, uh, to be stocking Profoto. Thank you, Profoto. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so give us the, uh, give, give us the <laughs> in terms of events and uh, events and things. Well, we have a very rare, well, I say rare, we do quite a lot of nature walks with optics, uh, especially Swarovski, but we've got, mm. uh, I want to say one of our first Carl Zeiss ones for quite a while, and we have it with the very well-known Simon King. Mm -hmm. um, so that's on the <laughs> Avalon Marshes. I'm going to say on, not in. On the other one, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, using a fabulous range of size binoculars. So it was a four day event, uh, one to one kind of uh, chat with um, Simon, as well as a lovely walk around uh, a brand new and I believe refurbished um, Avalon Marshes. Um, Gareth, <laughs> yeah, 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 refurbish a marsh. <laughs> a marsh. I'm guessing a few buildings. But, um, <laughs> Sorry, that was low-hanging fruit. <laughs> but um, you will also have a chance to meet the man behind the G-Spot as well, because he'll be there on the day. Um, good old Gareth. Um, there are only nine slots left available at a price of £125. That does include such things as lunch um, and refreshments, so you don't need to worry about that. Do. Um, yeah. On the promotions front, we Ooh. have the EM10 Mark II. Uh, you can get £50 mm -hmm. off mm -hmm. their EZ kit, so not the Bolly, sadly, uh, but just the kit variations. And that is it for this week. That is it. That's it. Cool. Uh, the reason we're doing a short episode this week is because we've got an event coming up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, ben, what are we doing? We are going, well, at our store in Dursley and the town hall, I believe, we have mm -hmm. booked out. And our um, yeah. academy. And our academy. Yeah, which is also, yeah. oh, everything's in Dursley. All over <laughs> Dursley. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All three locations in Dursley. Uh, we have the wonderful Simeon Quarry joining us, and he's going to be doing some techniques on videography using. Uh, was it in the more? There's two different sessions. Two different sessions. Mm -hmm. So there's DSLR, the yeah. mirrorless, yeah. and then a, a practical hands-on hands afternoon, 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 afternoon session, which I think goes for about three hours. So yeah. I think there's probably some pretty some pretty cool definitely information there. A full day. That'll actually be happening today, actually, because you'll be watching this. Friday. That's true. On yeah. Friday. That happened yes. this afternoon. <laughs> Yes, that, that's, that's all happened. We we'll completely yeah. forget about Matt that. Matt and I are there now. now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, ta -ta. check out next week. <laughs> yeah, bye. Check out next week for uh, an interview with Simeon. Yes. I that's probably the best thing to go for. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, sadly, that event has been and passed. You missed it. Unlucky. <laughs> um, but watch out next week for an interview where Matthew and Ben will chat with the lovely Simeon. We're hoping to talk to Simeon. Anyway. We're, we're hoping. hoping. We're not committing Simeon. to anything. Yes. Basically, we're going to go <laughs> and then we'll be here next Friday <laughs> and uh, we're going to show you what it looked like. Things will happen tomorrow, which is now in the past or in the present. <laughs> <laughs> Things are happening. In fact, it will be in the past because this will go out at five o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Time travel. That's <gasps> pretty much how it works. It's a really <laughs> smart or, you know, a bunch of idiots tell you <laughs> that, you know, time is gone. We should probably quit on this now. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right. So, short episode this week. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in for that. Yes. And uh, more next week. <laughs> Tati. Bye. See you later. <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> it just got worse and worse. Wow, that's cool.